Uh, dear Dita Carey, it's uh, ruin and and what stuff, crap and stuff. That's what I'm doing. I I am so totally very late on my uh, on my lunch dose of my meds, but uh, that's okay. I I don't have a schedule that operates like the so-called normal people, but, ah, uh, there's one final visit from, hopefully final visit, I think it should be, like, the final for real this time visit, from the exterminator on Monday, and Monday is going to be hectic for me, because, first off, I did not even get the notice, um, that the exterminator was coming by on Monday until on Friday. Now, it, I left on Thursday to, uh, to go to um, game night. It's possible I left and didn't see it on... Oh, wait, no, no, I did see it on the way coming back. So, yeah, I... Well, it's possible that... Because I leave at game... I leave for game night around 6 uh, in the afternoon. So... Um, I know sometimes their maintenance guys can take until, like, 8 to do some things around the buildings, but, um, so yeah, it's possible that they, uh, that they stuck the notice on the door, um, uh, before I left, and I simply didn't see it until after I came back, but it's also possible that they, uh, that they stuck it on after I left. And so, of course, I wouldn't have seen it until I got back. So, uh, so yeah, I, I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the notice until basically Friday. Um, well, yeah, I didn't get back until, I don't get back from game night until at least midnight, just because of how the buses work. And, um, and that's if I take an earlier bus back, because, you know, people have to, um, other people at game night have to, like, go and do things earlier in the day, so we're wrapping up a little early. Um, of course, it's, uh, I usually am one of the first to leave, um, and that's usually around 11.20, 11.30. Oh, right. I remember what this is now. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I got the notice, uh, Friday in the early a.m. hours, and, uh, that's the important part, is I got the note, um, around, like, midnight, 12.30, Friday a.m., not really morning, uh, but, uh, but, yeah, that's the important thing, is, like, I did not even get the notice until I'd already, A, confirmed my Monday appointment with my a uh, psychiatrist who adjusts my, um, who adjusts my, uh, my, um, neurological mental health medications. Uh, this is pain medication. This is ibuprofen. Uh, but then what happens? So yeah, I'd already confirmed the appointment. And so, like, by Friday, it was effectively too late for me to reschedule without some kind of, um, um, I think they would waive the fee for me since I'm one of their, uh, since I'm one of their patients who's there on the, um, on the residency program just for, uh, um, because Medicare. Phoebe, you do not want my drugs. Actually, she does. She loves valerian root, and on the good side, it's non-toxic, so I can, like, like, when it's empty, I'll often let her, um, lick the, uh, lick the bottle cap and rub her face all over the open mouth of the empty bottle. But, uh, yeah, um, some cats are really, really into valerian, uh, but, uh, and the good thing is that it's non-toxic. So, yeah, she actually does want one of my pills, but she cannot has. Actually, one time I opened up a capsule for her, because it's non-toxic to cats, um, obviously. Um, I opened up a capsule for her and, you know, just, uh, I, I, um, emptied it out onto the, onto the chair 
uh, and she just she just had a great time with that. <laughs> uh, funny story about my wicker chair is I was not really able to sit in it for like the first month I had it because some combination of the cats, usually Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe was in this chair for most of the first week I had it. Like, um, but yeah, some combination of the cats and the horrible ex I'm always complaining about were always in it before me. Like, I would go out and do something, like, do my chores without Isaac, and I would get back some, like, about a third of the time he would be in the chair, and I'd just be like, I'm never gonna sit in this chair, am I? And that was just before the couch got fixed, so, like, my options were to sit on the floor or, um, or the Art Nouveau chair or stand, and I feel really bad <laughs> But the Art Nouveau chair has become the chair where I tend to dump some things when I come home. It's because it's right by the door. Uh, it's a gorgeous chair. It's a gorgeous chair. And unlike Isaac, I am not mean to it. Um, Isaac would always, like, grab hold of the back of it to steady himself putting on his shoes and shit. At some point, I just gave up with arguing with him about, you know, please don't do that. Please, just be nice to my goddamn furniture. Like, it's not yours. You're not paying me to call over my friend Joey and have him, like, fix it or something. Like, uh, like unless you're willing to do that, be nice to my furniture. At some point, I just give up. At some point, I just give up because... You know, the, the selfish person you're living with is just, it, it's, it's, it's a learned helplessness response at some point. You just give up and just learn to live with it until they're no longer your problem. But not complaining about the ex. What was I saying? Oh, right. I'm going to see, uh, so, yeah, um, I'm going to see them, uh, my psychiatrist on Monday. That is going to be interesting, because like I said, I didn't even get the notice until the, uh, until the early fri Friday a.m. hours that the exterminator was going to be here on Monday. And, <laughs> and, uh, and so the cats can't be here when the exterminator is, which makes sense. He's spraying down poisons. Poisons that would be toxic to kitties. And because he's spraying down poisons that will be toxic to kitties, kitties come with me. Of course, we've been through this before. On While there is a good chance that the, uh, that the rescheduling fee could be waived, I, I absolutely forgot yesterday to call and ask about that. So, um, and the fact that I'm forgetting to do things again is telling me that my medications, and oh, I only have five days worth anyway, so it was good that I bumped up my appointment in the first place. So, uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a thing that's about to happen. Um, I mean, I could have just went in for a refill, but, you know, I, uh, because, uh, previously my appointment with uh, with, with that, with that doctor was, um, really? We're doing this? So yeah, I could have just, uh, cause yeah, my previous appointment with her was scheduled for, um, another two weeks out, which would not be an issue if not for the fact that this is clearly not a good dose for me because, um, just, like, like, while I have been in a lot more of, uh, of the back pain than I usually am during summer. Granted, a not insignificant reason for this is because I have been physically doing more this, uh, this, this summer early on just because shit has just been crazy, especially with the exterminator coming approximately every other week. Um, so yeah, I have to carry cats on me for, you know, and I've been doing this regularly, so of course my back is being like, oh, we don't like you anymore. All of us little jointed bones, we're, we're not your friend anymore. And I'm like, but please, but I've got shit to do. So yeah, um, but yeah, like when, when my back isn't giving out on me, I, 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 I can't focus. And when I can't focus on what I need to do, um, nothing gets done. And this is, this has been the worst of it. This has seriously been the worst. 
Yeah, because I completely forgot um, yesterday to call and see if A, I could reschedule and, you know, at which I would only be able to do if they'd be able to uh, waive that, uh, that, that, uh, that, 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 um, under 24 hour reschedule fee. Um, two, if I was not able to reschedule, would it be okay that I have the cats with me? Now, I did find Nigel's uh, little ESA card that I can tag onto his carrier. Granted, the other two don't have that. A lot of people don't understand the legal distinction between uh, an emotional support beastie and an actual service animal. Uh, there is a distinction between the two. A service animal has to be trained to perform a service, which is why they are called a service animal. Um, if your animal is not trained, it is not a service animal, and it does not have the same rights as a service animal, meaning you cannot bring it into federal buildings and is not necessarily going to be allowed on um, on passenger train, being the Amtrak. Uh, depending on the station, they may or may not let that slide, but um, they are not legally obligated to let it on with you. Um, air travel is another story. Um, an ESA is um, legally allowed on um, on the air on an airplane within reason which is where we've got that, you know, person bringing on a peacock, claiming it's an ESA so that, you know, they don't have to pay cargo fees, you know, and, um, but yeah, that, that person was, um, was indeed revealed to be, you know, somebody who figured, oh, hey, um, it's cheaper to go through one of these certificate mills and, uh, and register this, animal as an, you know, illicitly as an ESA, um, than it is to pay the cargo fees to bring it with me to whatever show. Like, so that person, that person who made the news for most of a week that one time, uh, a couple of years ago, was indeed, you know, it, it was eventually uncovered by people in the know that they were just scamming the technicalities to get this to happen. Uh, people who've brought in, like, pot-bellied pigs who crap up and down the aisles. Like, like technically, like, they... Uh, like, there is a technicality that allows an ESA uh, certain accessibility um, into places that normally wouldn't, uh, but it is given the caveat, like, within reason. So you don't, you don't need to have a any special training to register your pet as an ESA. Um, there are two ways to do that. One is with the doctor's note, basically. Um, you know, you basically have a note from a mental health provider saying that, um, um, taking care of this animal is a part of your, um, mental health and well-being, um, care. Uh, there is some accessibility that is, um, that is legally permitted with this, and, uh, and, uh, um, oh, yeah, and, uh, and, um, 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 um because of the, uh, the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act, um, pet fees for, um, for apartment buildings will be waived with this. The other way you can get your pet registered as an ESA is through one of those sketchy, gray market, you know, certificate mills that the idiot with the peacock used, and this is not something that I take daily. Why is this in the daily box? I don't know. This is an as-needed. Why do I have two of these, then? Oops. Um, so yeah, I got Nigel registered as an ESA through one of those sketchy certificate mills, but I did that because my, um, my primary physician, who was really, like, my only healthcare provider. Uh, I did not have a separate mental health team at the time. Um, she, uh, she wasn't, um, she wasn't familiar with what would need to be written on such a note. 
that would satisfy a um that would satisfy the um um um, um the building management. So I did opt to go through one of those sketchy gray area certificate mills. Um, but yeah, um, my guess is because this is a, uh, a mental health clinic that they do, um, you know, if I've got, you know, even if I've got a sketchy certificate, you know, with a little tag and everything for the one of them, which would be Nigel, they'll just be like, okay, well, it's a one-time thing. It's not like you make a habit of this. Please, you know, call us ahead when, if this ever has to happen in the future. I'm hoping that because the, uh, the reception area staff they pretty much know me on site. They recognize me instantly at this point. It's just, you know, my, uh, my, uh, my psychiatrist, uh, they change annually, so. so. Yeah, the cats get to come to my psychiatrist with me on Monday, and I'm not looking forward to the adventure that would, uh, cause, but, like I said, it's, it's one of those things that when you have to do it, you have to do it. Right, Murnau? You have no idea what's going on, because you was a kitty. Yes, you are. You're a little fluffy kitty. Yes. Oh. Oh, are we so cute and fluffy? Yes, we are. We're cute and we're fluffy. And we are so full of love and spunk and happiness, aren't we? He is. He is. Like, okay, amongst the few um, inalienable truths that ever came out of Isaac's mouth is saying that um, Murnau is just such a... I don't remember his exact phrasing, but it basically amounted to, um, where, uh, where, where, um, you know, our, uh, our annoying orange in chief might be a, uh, 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 might be a warmonger, but Murnau is, uh, is, is a complete joy monger, and he is, and he has devoted his life to bringing people happiness and... <laughs> <laughs> and joy, and I, uh, I don't think that was the exact phrasing, but yeah, that's like, I, you know, stopped watch is relevant twice a day, right? This may indeed be my last appointment with this particular resident doctor for the year, or it's possible I may get, I may, I don't know, I might keep my, I might keep my, uh, my appointment that's like toward the end of the month. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if she'd want to just, like, increase the dosage by five milligrams, um, to, uh, to hold me over until my first appointment in July with the next resident, who I don't know who that's gonna be just yet, um, or I don't know if she'd be comfortable, um, like, just trying a completely different medication and seeing if that helps, or maybe a combo of things to see if that helps, um, until... I see the, uh, until I see the new person in July. So, uh, so, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, oh, gosh. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to, uh, um, 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 I'm going to do what? I'm going to, uh, spend the rest of the night, um, uh, picking up in here, obviously, I've got craft supplies all over the place because I've got so many unfinished things. Um, I, I kind of knew I was in trouble when I, uh, when I rescheduled the, uh, the appointment for, uh, for Monday about a week and a half ago. Unfortunately, that was the soonest she would be, she was able to see, unfortunately, like, Monday's the soonest she was able to see me between, like, a week and a half, whatever, I rescheduled it. Like, I knew I was in trouble as far as my dosage went when I just kind of, I just kind of stopped working on that, um, on that little embroidery, um, pattern that I, that I bought and was working on and was, like, posting, like, um, you know, like, uh, submitting updated, update pics to my Instagram, like, every few days I was doing that, and then I just kind of stopped and I was really in the zone um, before I just stopped and that was yeah I just kind of stopped like maybe a week and a half ago and so yeah like I was in the zone for like the first couple of weeks I was on this and then it just kind of stopped and like I said that's when I know I was in trouble when it had been like three or four days since I'd last um, worked on it and and now here we are. So, so yeah. Um, 
I need to add a couple things to my date book before I forget about them, and um, I don't know what all else I'm going to. I'm not going to make myself too many promises about getting about things to finish doing this weekend because I'm a uh, yeah I'm I'm not in a good state um, as far as things go and. But yeah, things I really need to get done is putting together packages, at the very least, like handwriting the invoices for things. I'd like to get that done this weekend. And, uh, and, uh, and writing up a, um, a review for Student of Kaimi, which would be another uh, Raythu novel that I finished a couple of months ago. Granted, that's got little to do with my, my med dosage not working for me right now, uh, because the other one, I, I was on decent dosages of meds to get things done for a little while there, and then, uh, and then, like, mid-April, everything went higgledy-piggledy, and we've been, uh, I don't know, like, I'll be, I'll be in a, I'll be at a good dose for, I don't know, I was at a good dose for a couple weeks, like, um, like, uh, like, yeah, earlier in May, I was at a decent dose, but then, and I was trying to get things recombobulated and then it all just went again uh, sometime sometime soon like in the next week or so I would like to get around to uh, I've got like uh, I have uh, definitely two pairs of white jeans that I got from Value World with my friend Elise uh, plus a third pair that I got ages ago and then there was this one from an, uh, I think this pair uh, though this is technically, um, white with, uh, cheetah pattern, uh, please tell me this button is not going to come off. That would, that would be annoying. I don't want to find a new button for jeans. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this, I can't remember if I got the, uh, if I got the, uh, the cheetah pattern on white from, um, I can't remember if I got, oh wait, no, I got this from PTO. I get, like, most of my... I get most of my, um, clothes from PTO lately, um, but yeah, and I've got another pair of jeans, um, white ones from Ragstock, and then at least two, possibly three, from Value World, and over the next couple of weeks, I would like to dye them, and, uh, so yeah, um, I don't know, I still haven't completely settled on which one, on which color, so the ones from Ragstock, I definitely, I wanted to dye them, uh, gray, so I got this pearl gray by Wit, and hopefully it takes, I'm actually gonna use double on that, because, uh, the Wit says that it's good for things, not for use on fabrics containing more than 35% polyester, and that one is, uh, 65 cotton, 30 poly, 5, um, or maybe 25 poly, uh, 25 to 30 poly, and then the rest is, uh, spandex. And it says specifically 35 polyester, so that is definitely under 35% polyester, I remember that. Uh, so we're gonna see how this, and like I said, I'm gonna use the double dose, because it recommends, um, half the bottle for, um, yeah, four ounces of dye per three gallons of water, and, um, and this is eight ounces, so, yeah, I'm gonna double it with that, just to, just to be on the safe side, because polyester, right? Well, polyester plus spandex, which is, it, it, it's basically rubber. It, I think most clothing brands have switched to, uh, something besides latex, because I haven't been breaking out from all of my, um, all of my stretch jeans, and that's, that's basically what I wear, <laughs> it's like, um, I, I have so many pairs of jeans, I need to go through all of my wonderful pairs of jeans, but yeah, the, uh, the, the cheetah pattern, you know, while I'm wrapping this up, I haven't decided whether I, because there was a sale at Joanne, so I haven't completely decided, um, on a, on which one I want for the cheetah. So I've got emerald green, which I'm hoping is going to be a little bit brighter than this. 
it's been so long since I've used RIT. I've been I've been a big fan of iDye, but they only have iDye Poly at the Joanne by me, and while the price is comparable on eBay, I have to wait a week. And plus, like I said, it was on sale. It was a sale. So, um, I hope the emerald is a little bit brighter than this, because otherwise I'll be a little disappointed, but it's a cheetah print, so not too terrible. So I've got emerald, I've got teal, which again, I'm hoping is a little bit brighter, but then again, if it is very close to this, which is a little bit muted, rather than like, you know, your, um, and by muted, I mean it's got a little bit of a gray to the base, um, at least when I'm looking at the bottle. Um, so it's, it is still within the pastel range, um, what's visible from the bottle, but hopefully it's a little bit muted like this. I wouldn't be terribly upset if it was like this muted, um, light teal like it is here, but it would be ideal if it was a little bit brighter. Am I right? Of course I am. Or hyacinth, which looks like a uh, muted lavender is what they're calling this. Right, Murnau? Please don't knock over the phone. Please. Please don't. Don't, don't, don't. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. If people want to take a, take a vote on the, uh, on the colors for the, uh, for the cheetah p pattern jeans, I don't care. Um, like I said, I'm not especially married to any one of these for the cheetah pattern jeans. Um, though, uh, like I said, the pearl gray, that's reserved for the ones from Ragstock that I've had for a while, and I've always wanted them gray. I've worn them, like, maybe twice out as is. I've had them a little over a year. I need to make them gray. That's just, that's just how it has to be. I, I'm not gonna wear them again until I dye them, so that is definitely gonna happen this week. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, and... It's not like I'm giving up on getting anything done, but you know, like I like I said about the about the learned helplessness while living with Isaac, there's it's like I know I have to get things done, but like this is like before I I, I don't know I'm kind of like back in this in this way of thinking like before I was uh, getting this addressed with medication, the, uh, the the ADHD is like it is just so hard to get started, and it's not that I lack the motivation mentally speaking, when I begin to get started, I don't know where to begin. So at some point, so I get distracted with so many other things and you know, it's a, it, it's a, it's a, it's a neurological disorder of the executive abilities. Like I said, it's, it's really, it, the whole getting started thing is really difficult. But. Uh, but yeah, if you want to take a vote for the cheetah pattern jeans, um, emerald, teal, or hyacinth, and I will, I don't know, like I said, um, sometime this week, the, uh, the other jeans are gonna get dyed, I'm probably going to film small clips of that and compile them for a video, <laughs> uh, just because I know what color those ones are gonna be, and, um, and um, and um, and um, and then what happens? I don't know. Um, either way, wish me luck for Monday because the cats are not going to be happy with me. <laughs> They're really not going to be happy, and I need to finish picking up in here and all of that. So, bats and kisses, sweethearts, and I know how late it is, but I probably should shower too. Uh, I'm not, oh wait, no, I did, I did shower yesterday, I think, I think, definitely Thursday, I don't know, this is very bad brain time I've been having, oh well, bats and kisses again, and take care of yourselves, and hopefully this all recorded this time, because I, I'm, I'm cursed, cursed, DIY project that doormat was. I don't know. Like I said, at some point after I spray painted everything, even like as I was spray painting stuff on the balcony, it was just like it was just like nope, we're not gonna we're not gonna save your video with this. You're cursed, 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 cursed. But hopefully the jeans will be a less cursed project. Am I right? I hope so. Take care and 
Bye-bye.